Hello again, my fellow Disgaeans. A two-headed dragon? What's that? Why, it's the third chapter in a row without any story elements to it. What gives? Uh... Yeah, this one is not so much difficult as it is more of a puzzle. Uh... Yeah, with attack... <laughs> attack minus 100 and defense plus 100, those biosuits are gonna be a bitch to take out. Uh, but... I don't fall for it. Uh, th th this is actually easy if you just have a very good magic caster. It's all about range. In fact, if you had a professor, all you had to do was cast Magical Extension, and this would be a very easy map. Um... Although really, what, what you can kind of do is, what, what they want you to do is, um, destroy the bio suits and then keep throwing the geo blocks until you get all the way down to the bottom, and then I think there's a red one that you can throw across and get rid of their geo blocks. However, I don't like their method, and I don't have to play by their rules. Alright. Right. He's kind of cool, guys. Alright. Um, so yeah, after I defeat these suits, I, um, the great thing about the base panel is no geo blocks um, affect you. So, no ranged, pff, bullshit, attack from the base panel and you're good to go. However, um, I'm just kind of fooling around and eventually I'll find out that this is not the most uh, efficient way to handle this map. Especially since I try to capture this bio suit, which I again, I still don't understand at this point that I need to be able to make it to do it. So as you can see, this map is pretty much unbeatable. So a uh, quick reset. Never, never you mind that. How embarrassing. Ugh. All right. So I need another class to go over today. Flash should that be? Did I do the feline yet? The cat class? Crap, I'm getting to the point where I... It's getting harder to remember based off just memory. Okay. Uh... Anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, at this point, I also remembered that I could finally make an archer, which is what I've been aiming for. Uh, so, Lindis, my Valkyrie, lady fighter, just gonna use up some excess mana, and then I'm gonna reincarnate her. Of course, I have to make the class first. We'll get into that shortly. Yeah, just doing each one twice. Well, this was originally my male warrior, wasn't it? Wasn't it, since I have two axe moves. I can do anything in my dream! You keep telling yourself that, Fuka. I'm like, where is it? Oh yeah, gotta pass a bill to make it first. So annoying, is that really necessary? So I always save first before I try to pass a bill, you never know what can go wrong. Ah, uh, did I do the feline? Damn, I just can't remember. I'll have to save that for later because I'll have to check one of my older videos. I'll have to check all my older videos. Okay, um, what else we got? The Mystic Beast, the dog. Did I do that too? I can't remember. Did the Succubus, did Death, did the Rock. Oh, the Demon Beast. I can do that. Hmm. Did the Masked Hero. I did almost all the human classes. Damn. 
Yeah. All but one, which I'm saving for the next chapter. Okay, um... You know what? Let's do the Rifle Demon. That one's cool, right? You know it. Okay. Come, Fenric! Come, Fenric. Alrighty, um, yeah, let's pass this bill. Oh, look! Fallen Angel Flan. The character you could only get if you pre-ordered the game. I'm sorry, if you... Oh, I'm not giving away my legendary prelude. You know what? Um, someone was actually kind enough to give me a Fallen Flan, Fallen Angel Flan code. I did not have one, but now I have her. Yay! All right. A more. <laughs> She had to find more ways to say love. Alright, now I can make my archer. Just enough. Ta! Please! You won't get away! Shoot! Sounds like she's yelling Krillin. All of those pretty much suck if you ask me. I don't know what they did to her voice. You won't get away. I'm gonna do my best. Sure you are. Anyway, I'm naming her Natalia after the Archer character from Tales of the Abyss. I like to keep it simple. So I need a pretty much even amount of attack and hit. And we're good to go. Of course, she's only level one. I'd have to do some leveling up with her. Anyway, rifle demon. That's that uh, horned, winged, gun for an arm, triple-eyed demon. They're really weird. Uh, rifle demons are awesome platforms of ranged damage. They don't have the mo bo mobility of gunners, but their abilities line up perfectly to allow for some big numbers. If enemies don't come to you, allow an ally, have an ally throw the target you wish to kill into range. This lets Invincible Ruler trigger, and that makes up for any lack of uh, direct damage in the Rifle Demon skill set. Use Heavy Stance as well for another jump in damage. If you need more mobility, magic change and let one of your gunners carry the Rifle Demon around as a weapon. This gives you some of the best of both worlds. Alrighty, uh, to elaborate, your base ability is Invincible Ruler which increases damage by 50% when not moving. Uh, makes you a very powerful turret, it would seem. Uh, I, I guess if you're gonna snipe someone from afar, this would be the way to do it. Uh, movement range is only three. Uh, their normal attack range is five, in a straight line, like a gun, which they match a change into. Uh, they are 50% resistant to fire and 25% weak to wind and ice. Uh, Anti-Elements, their next ability, increases all elemental stats by 50% when health is under 25%. Uh, 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 that's situational. That, that might be nice for a Magic Knight with... Um, but, you know, do you really want to keep her under 25% health to get that boost? Uh, that's up to you. Star's Blessing increases star attack damage by 30%. Which is 
and all of their ability uh, um, skills, aside from their first uh, magic change ability, have star. So this is a no-brainer. You should definitely learn that. Also, if you have a star mage, you know, give them that spell as well. That'll help. And finally, heavy stance increases stats by 20%, but this character cannot be lifted. Um. Again, stat increase is nice. You'd have to, uh... It's unfortunate that this uh, class has low, evil, uh, low movement. You could probably, uh, th if you can think of a better uh, class that has very good movement, that wouldn't mind the increase in stats that can't be thrown, uh, you know, th um, then that actually works out well. It's a good ability, 20% increase in stats, and not every character needs to get thrown. Uh, a Succubus, for example, has a movement rate of 4 and can walk through enemy units. So if you don't think you're going to be lifting a succubus, the increase, the 20 increase percent increase to all stats, which are pretty well rounded, could be pretty good. Uh, you know things like that. I, th I think that would be pretty good, actually. Um, so those are some interesting abilities, making you a good. Uh, damage dealing unit from afar. Again, I didn't quite think of the strategy. I really should just nuke these guys from the base panel. Ready? All right. Ready? No entry. So you can't throw someone over there. Anyway, uh, the aptitudes. The Basile, the first level, has an HP aptitude of 120, SP 70, attack 120, defense 110, intelligence 70, resistance 100, hit 130, and speed 100. Overall, uh, pretty damn good. Great hit, good attack and HP, and good defense as well. Good res as well. Actually, the only thing is lacking is intelligence, which is a stat you're not going to use. In fact, so they have damn good uh, aptitudes, really. Oop, missed. Don't worry, I'll get him. Since the boss suits don't move, so I can just take my time at hitting them from afar. Alrighty. Uh, for their skills, Ignition, their first one. Um, element Star. Again, they're all Element Star. Uh has a fixed range. It's either two or three spaces away, I think. Hits a single target, and the power is E. Better than F. Uh, you know, power this up for single targets. Uh, next one is Extinctor Laser. Uh, hits every adjacent unit around you. The power is E. Uh, again, uh, I, you know, I hate these adjacent units. They are very situational. The next one is Genocide Saber, which hits a uh, a cross right in front of you. Power is D. Uh, it's you know decent area effect. The the downside to uh, the Rifle Demon's great attributes is that uh, the power of his moves isn't that great. And then finally, Cruel Shot has a range of four tiles. I can't remember. Let's see, j just have a good uh, mage and you can take care of this map, no problem. Hmm. How was Cruel Shot? It might have been an X. Can't remember. Power C, so it's your most powerful attack that you'll have. And it has. Um, movable range, so that's probably the attack you'll be using the most. Oh, what's this? More story? Why, yes! <laughs> Who's that? Some strange human is coming this way. Hey, that's... Ha! I didn't think you'd make it back on your own, my final weapon girl, Desko! <laughs> Daddy! Hey, 
Hey, what did you just call him? He's my dad! Yes, Desko knows. That's why you're Desko's big sister. Uh, uh, uh! Whoa! Hey! Uh, what's the matter, lass? You finally gone mad? Lord, please excuse my audacity. However, this lass's insanity didn't just start right now. What the? Huh? My dad really created Desko? The final boss to destroy all humans? This is my dream! I can't believe my father turned out to be an enemy. What kind of space war story is this? Lass, what kind of man is your father exactly? If he created Desko, then he can't be just an ordinary human. Daddy is one of the most intelligent people in the world. His job title is Mad Scientist. Mad? Is that his official job title? What the hell are you doing, Dad? Have you teamed up with that Nemo guy? Are you trying to destroy everyone? Huh? Well, I saw there was a girl wearing a weird hat. I didn't know that girl was you, Fuka. Huh? You just noticed me? I'm your daughter! Fuka, what are you doing here? I thought you went to hell. What? How can you say that about your own daughter? Well, you're not the heaven type, you know. Ugh, what the hell's your problem? Plus, I'm not even dead. Are you telling me that I died? Yep, you died. You definitely died. Ha! Now you've got a scientist backing it up. Finally, your death has been proven a fact. Now, lass, do you remember your promise? Now you must go through my intensive training to become a Prinny. Prinny rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. No! This is a dream! No, a nightmare! This is all some kind of misunderstanding. My dad would never help a villain destroy humans, so this can't be real. God damn, Fuka's dad annoys the crap out of me. Um, this is a weird amount of combination geo blocks. The premise is with the HP SP switch, the deaths do SP damage, so they're going to be you know but you know they're silent so they can't hit you from afar, so their melee attacks are supposed to you know kill you via SP loss. That that's the premise. I'm going to do this weird series of bounces with the blocks to uh, get rid of that effect. Anyway, as for the magic change abilities, you have Reflection Beam, which... Uh, these are gun moves, so they're based on speed and hit. Uh, it's a straight row of five, I believe, right in front of you. The power is E, and there's no element. There's no star element. Uh, I like single. I like line attack, so that's cool. And then finally, there's parallel cannon, which hits a horizontal row of five up to five spaces away, with the star element and the power is D. An excellent magic chain skill. Parallel cannon gives you the ability to hit almost any nearby enemy or group of targets. The only danger lies in targeting allies, so watch your area of effect carefully. A uh, horizontal row of five that can go five spaces away is quite nice. That's um, you know, you do not have to be in a straight row, like, reflection beam to be able to hit your enemies. You could be, obviously, parallel to them. <laughs> so, that's the, uh, rifle demon. Uh, amazing- Oh, I did not read their, uh, final aptitude. Let's get into that. After the Basile, we have the Gambiel, the Adnachiel, the Verkiel, the Ambriel, and the Malkidia. Uh, I don't quite understand the... that suffix, so maybe someone wants to explain that to me. But the, the tier uh, 6 one has HP aptitude of 145, SP 80, attack 145, defense 135, what intelligence this? 80, resistance 125, hit 155, and speed 125. Fantastic attributes that don't even really require the... Uh, the character world to buff up much. Uh, 
have them just stand from afar with and their damp and their combination of uh, damage from not moving, star attack, and 20% uh, stats from not being lifted, and that pretty much makes up for their low-powered skills. Very strong. Uh, you know, and even if you do end up moving, they'll still be pretty good. Uh, amazing stats, really good potential. Uh, they're, they're good at most things. You know, I think they're the last class you unlock for uh, a, a reason. Uh, I don't use one, although I definitely endorse them. You know, a gun demon. It, they're by far the best ma uh, gun magic change you'll have. I mean, what's your competition? You got Mothman. <laughs> no Here big deal. Uh, well, this turns into a gun. I'll do my best. Here I go. Here I go. Well, she's gonna do a gun. Is that it? Huh. <laughs> oh, the slumber cat. Slumber cat turns into a gun. Yeah, not much competition. So it's a really good long uh, distance monster. Make on. Okay, uh, I didn't even notice how I did the, the combo. Move plus one? Well. Yeah. Now it's just a battle of attrition. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's just. Take them out one by one. It's surely not that difficult. Here I come! Ooh, lucky guess. That was pretty good damage for that level, wouldn't you say? Her damage output always surprises me. Damn, there's still a lot left of them. No one notice when you're attacking a death, their bodies go transparent? It's so weird, I don't quite get it. Not gonna lose. <laughs> Damn. You know, I'm d I'm going to run out of uh, character classes before I get to the extra chapters. So if uh, people want me to do the extra characters that you can obtain after the post game. Let me know, and um, I'll start to do them before I get that far. I don't think, I mean, is, is it really going to be a surprise for anyone? I'm sure most people looked up what the extra characters are going to be. I mean, I mean I, I, I'll, I'll keep it a secret if you really want, but uh, you guys are going to have to let me know. Holy crap, I'm getting hungry. Just thought you should know. Alright, yeah, watch this damage. The further away I am, the more damage I do. Level 24 compared to all my other units. That's pretty beastly.
Thank God for that move plus one. Yeah. Oh my God. She's dead. Well, that's a nice grouping of enemies. How to best go about this? No, I'm good. She keeps offering, and I can't keep having to tell her no. I don't need any crack. Ah, uh, that's good. They're all weak to wind. Hmm, almost. Oh, well, she has wind. She can take them. Of course, I didn't think to do that, I guess. Not bad. Game, set, and match. We are almost done with this accursed chapter. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Strong, Fuka. Daddy's very proud of you. Well, I'm disappointed in you. How could you become an evil scientist? What are you saying, Fuka? There's no good or evil in science. It's only what we humans make it out to be. You can't fool me. You made Desco, the bio suits, the clones. You created all of them. That's right. What do you think? Weren't they great? Although, they may need improvements, given that they were defeated by demons who lack access to fear energy. Young man, just out of scientific curiosity, where is all of your great power coming from? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Shut up! What, sardines again? Just stay out of this for now, will ya? Ah! You look busy, Balva Torres, but the party has just begun. Shall we start the main event? Dr. Kazumatsuri, could you please activate it now? Sure thing. Everything should be ready. I've been sending their battle data to it as we went, so it should be ready to go at any time. Of course, Doctor. My time and effort spent bringing you here has been well worth it for your abilities. Nah, it's the amount of funding you offer that helped me with my research. We both know that we're just using each other. There's no need for you to flatter me. You're all business, huh, Doctor? That's what I like about you. Anyway, it's all you now. Dad, why the hell did you team up with that guy? What is your research all about? I can't tell you yet, but you'll find out soon enough. Like father, like daughter, he's unpredictable. He's... he's not my dad! He's never done a single thing for me that's even remotely father-like! So, you had no idea what kind of research your father was doing? I knew it was something related to the military, but I didn't think it was to destroy everyone. Looks like you've been through a lot, too. I think I understand now why you act so weird. Like you have a personality disorder. What part of me is weird? And don't pity me, fool. In any event, everything worked out in the end. Now it's been proven that you and Desco are half-sisters. That's what it seems like. Whether that's good or bad. Big sis. Sorry, Desco. You were created, and then they treated you as a final boss, or destructive weapon, or whatever. It must have been hard. I'm so sorry that you had to go through all of that because of Dad. It's okay. Please don't worry about Desco, Big Sis. Desco is okay. 
all Deska wants is for Big Sis to approve of her as your little sister. Sure. Looks like I have no choice but to approve of you as my little sister. At least until I wake up from this dream. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Miss Desco. Anyway, is Fuga still gonna keep saying that this is just her dream? Huh? Hey, I didn't get to find out anything about who attacked me. Your father should know that, right? He made it pretty clear that you're dead. I said I'm not dead! I'm sure we'll find out the truth during the upcoming main event. Oh? What makes you so sure? Because that's the most dramatic way to reveal this truth! Oh, I see. You're rather convincing for some reason.